level 45 in Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, um, which means there's a new bulletin. I believe we get um, some more upgrades at the workshop, uh, another upgrade to our apartment, and hopefully some more races as well, because otherwise I'm kind of running out of ways to progress, although... The next Excellent. area the competition takes us to is around Quarry Bay. This is a chance for you to explore the shoreline of this business district. Yeah, I've already explored quite a lot. A but yeah, we've got... Participants. There we go. More space, nicer decor. They now have the keys to the Solar Hotel's executive suite. Well done. So interestingly, there's only actually three rooms. There's the one you start with, second one, and then, and then this one. I've marked all the race locations. Anyway. 21 new races. Okay, that gives me some stuff to do, although as we discovered last time, it's not actually the best way to level up. That would be exploring, which is how... Yes, thank you. Let's go and do that. Um, but yeah, I've been doing mostly driving roads, so as you saw, I've now got 96% of them discovered. Uh, I even actually went and bought an Audi Q7 to go and do all of these off-roady bits because I wanted a V12 diesel. And actually, during all of that exploring, I managed to find the remaining wrecks. So I now have the off-road Beetle and the 300 SL Mercedes Gullwing. So this is the executive suite, which is basically bigger. We have a little dining area in our kitchen now, as well as many drinks. Um, we have a bigger sofa, maybe? And we have like a lounge over this side, and I'm guessing a slightly different view. Yes, we get a view down to stadiums and into the hills and stuff. And I think, yes, we'll go out there in a second, as well as uh, the bedroom and the extra room that we've now got around there, we can go outside onto a balcony and gets a lovely view of the city. Does this go all the way round? I don't think it does, does it? No. So you have to imagine that there's like four of these at the top of the hotel. So yeah, we should basically be at the top and we've got an, an outdoor area, I think is the, the main difference, with many views. Anyway, as cool as that is, I think we should head on out and go and do some of these races which means we can do this. So then, beginning with an supercar race at the Sports Complex Circuit C. So at the racetrack, effectively, which this is quite underpowered for, I think. So this could end badly, although it is raining. And as we know, the AI can't cope with that as proven by what that MC20 is doing. And what that did... It, and, yeah. As I was saying. So, yeah, this event store is rated at 740 or so, and the limit is a thousand performance numbers so it shouldn't be winning this but it's off to a good start well after a rather uneventful rest of the race that's gonna be quite an easy win in a race that I really shouldn't have won in that car so there is one more event that was near the the racetrack which is this time trial, which I have to use the SLS for. It's the only car I've got that is eligible. So let's do that, because traditionally the time trials are slightly easier. And then we'll move right down to the west end of the city, where most of the races that I've just unlocked are. Much as I love the SLS, it is quite slidey. I made a horrible mess of most of that, but time trials are easy for some reason. <laughs> right then, as time trials are pretty easy, let's do another one. 
Battle Royal as opposed to Battle Royale. Um, but yeah, this one means I'm back in the Alpine. It's a daily driver category one, because of course an Alpine is a daily driver. Um, <laughs> been a little while since I've driven this thing. It's still very oversteery. Uh, slightly closer on the timer, but still in plenty of time with a lot of slipping about in the wet. So, just out of interest, yeah, uh, after two time trials and a race, I'm levelling up through the Solar Pass quite quickly, but uh, I'm, I'm not really levelling up very quickly. I'm still level 45. As far as I can figure out, those were the only two time trials, so now we're stuck with racing. For a bit of variety, I thought I'd try the off-road one next. Cross-country, I suppose it is, not off-road. And surprisingly, it's got audio at the beginning. That actually works, that I can hear. Maybe because it's a knockout thing, not knockout thing, points thing, not a... actual race. That was easy. I was first to every single checkpoint. So I've actually found that there are a couple of events that are for Grand Tourers or Supercars up to 800. And given the event at all is at 740, it should be more than capable of winning these if I drive well enough. Although these muscle cars appear to be quite muscly. Squeeze him. Oh no. That's not gone particularly well. Mustang do Mustang things. <laughs> Attempt two. I'm not quite sure why it went quite so badly wrong, but... Well, that struggling with corners. Well, second just to the other Aventador isn't too bad, but I did take some quite major shortcuts, which didn't seem to gain me any time. So, there's a second one with the same restrictions, so hopefully we're slightly luckier here. Uh, I did notice that on both of them it did say that slicks were recommended, but I'm trying to avoid upgrading cars, I just don't want to. Love the colour on that, um, Kuntash, though, purple. wonder if you can... never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if you can spec it in that colour in the dealership, but then you drove into a house, so... It's just an AMG GT to catch now. How's he done that? Never mind. No. You shall not pass. Well, second in both of these similar sort of events. Not too bad going. So after this I went and completed 10 more of the new races, starting with one in the Range Rover, where I got a bit carried away bullying the smaller Lancia and Audi, which kind of backfired a little bit. Uh, I did eventually, though, catch up and win the race. Next up was another one back in the Alpine again. First place completely checked out, however. I had a decent battle with a ridiculously fast Mito for a while, just about staying ahead with some slightly questionable defending and taking a second place finish. Then there was a domination event in the SLS, which was in the rain, so I won easily with the AI dying everywhere. A race in the Bentley where I managed to overtake a Taycan for the lead, before forgetting to break it for a corner and throwing it all away again. 
A race in the Lamborghini for supercars and GTs up to 800 rating, which I only just won with some muscle cars chasing me down the final straight. A couple more races in the SVJ, one for supercars that I somehow finished second in, and one that also allowed Grand Tourers, where I took a fourth place slightly disappointingly. And another cross-country race in the Range Rover, which again was an easy win. I then took part in a couple of clan races, one again in the Range Rover and one in the Aventador, both of which I won, so not a bad way to finish off today's video. And after all of those races, I'm still somehow only level 47, so I've only got up two levels since the beginning of what you've seen in today's video and all of those races. But there you go, that is going to do it for today's video here on Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. So thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with the next one very soon. Thank you.